There really can't be a doer. The second there's a doer, a chooser, a decider, someone that can make a decision to make conditions better, you will always be a slave to fixing conditions. So let's say you feel really bad one day and you go, I'm going to go to the gym and just do a big workout. And then you feel better afterwards. And you felt like you did something about your problem. You figured out how to fix your problem. And now whenever this problem comes up, you know what to do. And you become a slave to your own doership, your own illusory sense of doership. And then next time you feel bad, not only are you feeling bad, but you have to dread pushing yourself to do something about it, to be the fixer, to be the doer. There can be this like rush to know thyself even. Forcing yourself to hold some type of awareness on the self. And it, the doer kind of corrupts the natural inclination There's a natural inclination to go work out. There's a natural inclination to be close to the self, whatever that means. Like, you're always close to the self. You can't be far away from the self. You actually can't even be close to the self. There's no no distance between you and the self. You can't even say, there's the self. And I'm going to relate to the self sometimes and choose to relate to the sun, to the self. You know, I'm going to focus on the self more so now than other, uh, than another time. It's just, it's just a dream. And there's just a natural season for everything. You know, like I've heard Muji say, like, you sort of become aware of the self, you watch the self, you you sort of have an effort to look at the self, and then after a while the effort falls away. That's what he says, and, you know, I think that's just his way of translating it, but... That's just a promise. That's just a a shiny promise. If you just focus on the self, if you just work hard enough, if you just push hard enough, if you just effort hard enough, then something will happen and you'll be free. There's no you to be free. The you is so free, it doesn't, it can't be confined to a you that can or can't be free. There's no doer, there's no need to effort at all. At all. Any efforting that happens that's like exertion, let's just say, like of the physical body or even of like the mental faculties,
there's there's so much support behind it already. It doesn't need extra doership. It doesn't need an extra person behind it pushing it. It doesn't require that. Like when you're walking up the steps or let's say you lift a heavy box, it doesn't require a doer behind the body just lifting the box to lift to like a a doer isn't going to make the body any stronger in fact i would say the the doer is going to make the body weaker but again the doer is 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 not a condition that can or can't be there there's never a condition but the apparent doer the perception that there is a doer can distract from the body's natural inclination to be to lift the box but if you think i am lifting this box and uh, i better not look stupid lifting this box or um i better be able to lift this box or whatever or oh my god i can lift this box easy no problem all of that is getting in the way of lifting the box But at the same time, the dream overlay doesn't have really an influence or any influence that the dream overlay has on apparent reality is also just a dream. So the idea that a doer, the apparent doer lifting the box and can you know, have some effect on the box if it's a doer or not a doer. Even that's just a dream. So it's kind of just like the idea that there's no doer gets really meta and it's just like there's literally no, like it's just there's actually no one even doing anything. Like there's no there's no doer to 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 be a not doer. There's no doer to like Like, there's no one saying these words. It's not even, like... It's just crazy. It's just crazy. Like, when you just think about the word choice, even, it's like... There's just this almost suspicion (laughs) that there's, like... I'm just a puppet. Not even I'm just a puppet, but just, like, everything is just a puppet. Like, energy is literally just... is just a puppet basically it's like nothing Like, if I think about it, like, let's say there's just, like, a bunch of buttons that I can press. And they're, like, maybe, like, ten, ten of them or twelve of them. And they're all a different color. And I, like, think, like, okay, I could choose one of these. Right? And I'm just, like, going around and, and like, kind of deciding which one I want to choose or feeling out which one I want to choose. Whatever choice I make is not my choice. Whatever choice I make is like literally just like it's like an impulse. Like, oh, I see yellow and for some reason yellow. It's not my choice. I didn't choose that. It's just this impulse. So what what did the impulse? You can't say anything did the impulse. You can't even really say it like it's an impulse. It's just what it is. Like, it's not a separate event that someone did. 
it's just like a pop in like the ocean and not even that like it's just a blub there's just no causality at all and there's no even effect <laughs> like both the cause and the effect are just made up the cause is just an appearance is just a story and the effect is just an yeah the cause is just a story the effect is just an appearance There's, neither one of them exists just everything that you need to do will happen automatically the body will do it you'll have the support like have you ever been i don't know like when i was growing up sometimes like my mom would say something or someone would say something and i just like they were like trying to get me to say something or respond and i just like didn't have the like it didn't have it in me to say anything and didn't have the support in my body to say anything didn't want to say anything and i would be like forced to say something and like it basically like they're like forcing me to reinforce my doership my sense of self my sense of i that's not real my sense of in identity which is really them trying to reinforce their identity through me and so in my mind, I'm like, fuck you guys. I don't want to say this. Don't force me to be somebody. So that's kind of what I'm talking about. That's like there's no doer. But then, you know, but then with some other times, you can't get me to shut up. And no one's doing that either. So it's not like if I'm not, if I don't force myself to do something, then I won't do it. It's not if I like have to pretend and put on the doer hat that I'm not going to do anything. That's called neurosis. If I don't breathe, then I'm not going to breathe. If I don't beat my heart, I'm not going to beat my, my heart's not going to be beat. It's just, it's just this super over-believing in the doer, in the identity, in the I am in control. Are you, though? Let's just pretend you are in control. Does that really feel good to like call be calling the shots every single second deciding what's the best thing to do and making a judgment call and like having your reputation and your image on the line with every single decision? It's mania. You're trying to control. Yourself, your reputation, the way people see you. And that. Feudal act is just diluting the real you. And again, that's just a story, but. It's not like if you become the not doer, then the conditions of your life will change. And if you, or even if you realize you're not the doer, that your conditions of your life will change, or the conditions of your behavior will change, or.
it's just, it's like, it's almost like you just kind of stop hurting yourself, like doing things that hurt, you know? Like, it's like a, like imagine like a, like a sphere with like tentacles coming out of it. And like, you're the sphere and the, the tentacles represent like your attention and like you, you like, you put your attention on all these different things that distract you from the sphere, the self. And it's kind of just like the becoming or just realizing that you're not the doer and there's no even realizer of that. It kind of just like relaxes these tentacles and almost like retracts them a little bit. So they're not like reaching outward, outward, outward. Uh, again, that this is all just a, a story, a uh, a picture, but just a way to paint it.